coming to you from PA Leadership Charter School's Studio B in Westchester, Pennsylvania. It's the January 18th edition of The Portal! Today's special guest is one of our top guest requests, elementary school teacher, Mr. Corey Packer. And now, here's your host, Mr. Graham Osborne! Hello, welcome to The Portal! The second marking period is almost over, I know. It's very sad. It's a sad time for all of us, but hey, we've got the memories. We can always go back and think about the times we had studying, working hard, all those things. It ends on January 19th, which means the school year is half over. Yeah, that's an exciting thing, right? Okay, so check your courses in Moodle, make sure that you're all caught up, and uh, be, get ready for the second half of the year. We have a great show today. I'll be answering some more questions. And by popular request, Mr. Packer is here. Yeah. But first, some announcements. We have two school publications that if you haven't checked them out yet, you really should. Uh, first is the Talon, which is our school newspaper. And then we also have the Student Government Observer, which is run by the student government. Uh, read stories and articles there written by other PALC students. Maybe you'll be inspired to join. Write something of your own. That'd be great. You can check Moodle to read both the Talon and the Student Gov Government Observer today. You know, it's not too late to apply for the NHS or the NJHS. I'm talking about the National Honor Society and the National Junior Honor Society. Of course, the Honor Society being for uh, 10th through 12th grade and the National Junior Honor Society for middle school up to 9th grade. Uh, the NHS is an organization to honor those students who have demonstrated excellence in the areas of scholarship leadership, service, citizenship, if you can say citizenship, then you're definitely in, uh, and character, because I can't say it. Uh, if you have a GPA of at least 3.5 and you want to join, make sure you get your applications in by January 29th, and you need recommendations, so get on that. Get on that quick. Uh, Moodle has more information on how to apply. I'm still talking about the Million Pages Challenge. This is an update. We have read 435,000 pages. It's not enough, people. We need to read more pages. Pages in books. Pages, well, just pretty much books. That's what we're looking for. Uh, if you haven't been to your local library, why not? Come on. If you've never been there, get down there. It's probably amazing. You can check it out and get a free library card, and you usually get to borrow these books for like two to three weeks. That's two to three weeks where you get to have that book for yourself for free. Librarians can always recommend books for you as well if you're unsure of what to read or ask some of your teachers. And now it's time to answer some more of your questions. Let's go. Ian in third grade asks, do you like Star Wars and why? I love Star Wars. Uh, it's very, very fun and, uh, and really well made stuff. I used to watch the old ones back in the day. I really liked the original versions of the old ones as they came out in the theater. And I also saw The Force Awakens recently, which I thought was really good. Uh, although, one does wonder if it would have been as successful under its original title, The Force Awakens and Hits the Snooze Button. <laughs> Becky, in ninth grade, says, Mr. Osborne should do the typing challenge. <laughs> well, Becky, I have done the typing challenge. If you go back into the Portal episode archive, which is now available on the Moodle homepage, you'll see that I was the first one to do the typing challenge in the pilot episode when Mr. Murray was the host. Sixth grader Fania, and I apologize if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, says, do you know who Miranda Sings is? No. Next question. Naya in fourth grade says, do a special episode featuring Pittsburgh, please. The whole city of Pittsburgh? That's kind of a big undertaking. I'm not sure about that. I, I think you probably just mean the people that work in Pittsburgh and the students in Pittsburgh. That's a great idea and in fact uh, we will work on that. And Miles in 10th grade asks, is there actual coffee in the mugs? It's a good question actually uh, because in this mug there is not coffee. There are tiny multicolored centimeter cubes. Yep. And we've had many requests. In fact, so many requests, it broke the Google. 
for Mr. Packer. He's here. Please welcome Mr. Packer. Hello, everybody. Hi. How you doing? Hey. Hey, thanks for coming. Hey, Grant, oh, how, how are you doing, doing today? Good well. What's up with all these blocks, man? Uh, this is crazy. You know, it's we, we did a little thing uh, to, behind the scenes. Let me just, um, hold on a second. Thank there you, we go. Thank you. There we go. Okay. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing good. Hey, I come bearing gifts. Oh, that's nice of you. I know you uh, care a lot about your appearance, the hair, the mm -hmm. mustache. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I brought. Have you ever seen one of these guys? This little comb. Uh, I don't think I have. How does it comb work? Comb and mirror. Open it up. Take it a look. It doesn't look like a comb. It looks like I know, a, it looks, looks like, like the comb. thing they shot Spock out in in uh, Wrath of Khan. But no, wait. Here we go. You got to push it. There we wow, go. Look at that, man. Very nice. Very nice. Is that's this... for you. Yeah, it works. And I also have a special. Uh, these things are called balloonies. Oh, I Make remember Make your those. own balloons. I remember those. Pretty sick. Good time. Yeah. They are. Yeah. So, enjoy, my friend. We'll have to try those out. <laughs> that, that looks great. Ooh, enjoy. Weird. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, yeah. I'm having fun. Just busy, you know, yeah. with the school year. How long have you been at Palks now? I've been at Palks for, this is my third year. Wow. Started as a long-term sub. Okay. And uh, last year was my first full-time year as in four teaching fourth grade. Fourth grade? Yep. So you teach all the fourth grade subjects? I teach math, science, social studies, yeah. writing, and reading. Kind of a renaissance man. Jack of all trades. Yep. yep. <laughs> oh, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Very I, nice. I appreciate that. So, I needed that. So uh, what is it that you love about uh, teaching fourth grade? Fourth grade um, is, is, like you said, you teach everything. Right. Um, but it's just a lot of fun. The kids in the elementary school level, one of the main reasons I did elementary is uh, because I love kids at that age. Mm -hmm. They're just little balls of energy. Yeah, that's and, a good way to describe and, it. Exactly, and they just have so much fun, so that's, yeah. that's kind of why. What kind of fun things do you do with the kids? Anything special? Oh, man. Um, yeah, the live, the live stuff is a lot of fun that we do. Uh, do a lot of fun things in those live virtual lessons where they mm. get to meet other kids, listen to other kids' perspectives. Right, right. Um, we do the breakout rooms mm -hmm. in Adobe Connect, uh, give them time to do um, think pair shares. We give them time to draw and share their drawings, things oh, like that. Cool. That's what we do to make things fun. So they seem to really enjoy it because the, a lot of them requested for you to come cool. on. Cool. So well, well, I appreciate it. I, seems I'm, like you're doing a good I'm job. Here for, I'm here for them. <laughs> yeah. We're all here for them. Yeah. We have three questions. Oh, here we go. <laughs> do you have any interesting hobbies? Uh, interesting hobby that I have is that um, I actually wrestle really? and I coach wrestling. Hmm. And this isn't your like WWE, oh, okay. uh, pick a guy up and uh, pile drive him into a hard mat. Well, I'm you know, not interested then. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm no, no, I'm well, well <laughs> no, we do the, the normal scholastic yeah. folk style wrestling, it's called. Um, I coach at a school district from where I'm from, back in Lancaster, okay. and uh, have, a, have an enormous amount of fun doing that. That's really cool, really cool. Yeah. What's something students would be surprised to learn about you? I think that they would be surprised that I like to play video games. Oh, okay. I like to play online video games mm -hmm. uh, with other people. I, I have two children of my own, so a lot of people are like, man, you're a dad and you play video games. But, you know, <laughs> uh, we grew up, I don't know, you seem like oh, yeah. somebody who grew up in the 90s. You grew up with video games, you can't, you can't shake them. Oh, yeah. They're I so know. good. I know the so feeling. So good. Who's your favorite Disney princess? Disney princess, my favorite Disney princess, and, and by the way, all my students know that I am a huge Disney fanatic, yeah. huge. Um, so my favorite Disney princess is Cinderella. Oh, She's yeah. classic, very much. she loves animals, mm -hmm. super humble, very nice, hard worker. Yeah. She's nice to people that aren't nice to her. She's just got all those good qualities that yeah. I think a princess should be. That's really, that's really well put. She's awesome. That's great. So we have a bonus question, which is, do you have a book recommendation? Now, I don't get a ton of time mm -hmm. to uh, read for, for my own enjoyment, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I coach, uh, I teach, I have two little rascals at home, mm -hmm. uh, but I do read to my kids every single night, and their favorite book, and the book that they wanted me to recommend yeah. to all the students, is called Dragons Love Tacos. Dragons <laughs> Love Tacos. Awesome, awesome book. Okay, so we'll have to take a look at out. it, it's sweet. Definitely, definitely. So you took our typing challenge earlier. <laughs> that was interesting. 
Uh, if for those not familiar with the Typing Challenge, it's where we take a laptop computer and sort of rearrange the keys and reassign them, and then make our teachers try and type out uh, a sentence that we've come up with. Torture. Yeah, Torture, well, it's let's called. Let's see how torturous it was. <laughs> let's take a look. Gosh, this is impossible to do. So how did that go? <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. Like, I, I, don't, I, I don't know what to say other than I'm a little bit embarrassed right now. Anything in particular <laughs> that was tough about it? The, the keys are all over the place. It's like nothing you've ever seen before. Nobody can prepare you for this typing challenge. It's, okay. it's, it's so hard. And five, four, three, two, one, and that's time. So we totaled up your score, and based on everything you got right, you didn't get anything wrong, uh, you got a 36, 36, which puts you, let's see, uh, oh, I would say, I don't know, it's, it's, this is out of order. I can't read it. Oh, uh, no, it's uh, s uh, tied for 18th place oh. with Mr. Bonner. Well, is 18th last? Nope. Okay. No, there's, 20, All right. there's 26 places, so, so that's pretty good. <laughs> yes. That's pretty good. Well, thanks a lot for coming on today. Appreciate it. It was great Thank having you. you. Maybe we'll awesome. see you again. And we hope to see you again next week with Mrs. Rudzinski, who will be uh, talking to us about flight. See you then. <laughs> so let's awesome. look at these things. Yeah. Yeah.